Olefins, by definition, would be a, a precursor to, to plastics. Typical olefins are your ethylene, your propylene. Those, those are your typical basic olefins. And those are precursors to various other products that you get polypropylene where you start combining olefins and various different sorts of plastics. So if you want to make plastics, you would make olefins from methanol in order to make those plastics. Ethylene and propylene are two of the largest volume petrochemicals in the world. Ethylene is used in a variety of products, including a variety of different plastics, such as polyethylene, which is commonly used for food packaging and housewares, polyvinyl chloride for piping and construction materials, polyethylene terephthalate found in bottles and films, and polystyrene for insulation and cups. Likewise, propylene is used in a variety of applications, including polypropylene, which is commonly found in films, packaging, and automotive components. So the, the methanol to olefins process is a lot like the methanol to gasoline process. It starts again with uh, methanol. That methanol is converted to DME. In that process, water is produced. So again, if you are able to make a, a low quality methanol that doesn't have contaminants in it other than water, the water is not an issue for someone producing DME and eventually olefins. So, on today's market, the methanol that's traded on these ships that's sent from the large methanol plants to the different markets, it's all high quality chemical grade methanol. So if we can produce a low fuel grade methanol, it may be possible that th this would be sufficient for an MTO process and significantly reduce the feedstock of that process. So the methanol to olefins process is where gas techno could really play a significant role. Methanol to olefins, or MTO, is the biggest driver of demand growth in China. The domestic demand for MTO during 2016 was around 38,000 metric tons and is projected to reach 41,000 metric tons by the end of 2018. These high demands are skyrocketing the country's supply capacity, spurring the construction of two new MTO plants in China, which are scheduled to be finished by the conclusion of 2018. Other countries are also seeing big opportunities in the MTO industry, like New Zealand, as their methanol exports to China during 2016 were almost double that of 2015. While China is trying to figure out how to meet the rising methanol demands, U.S. company Gas Techno is making plans of their own to penetrate the MTO industry. Gas Techno would penetrate this uh, methanol to olefins industry by working in industrialized countries that are looking at, at methanol as a source to make olefins. So the, the MTO industry is always looking for lower cost feedstocks. And if Gas Techno is able to provide, say, a, a low fuel grade methanol, which still meets the requirements of an MTO process, then they're in a good position to, to provide the feedstock for these MTO processes. Now in today's market, MTO is not so competitive due to the low costs of ethane. But when you're looking at an MTO, you compare the cost of methanol to the cost of ethane. So ethane comes from natural gas. It's one of the, the methane, ethane, propane, butane. But the ethane fraction is sent to chemical plants where it's cracked into ethylene and processed into plastics. Now an MTO process will do the same thing where they'll take methanol, convert that to DME, and that DME will be converted into ethylene. And that ethylene is the same ethylene that comes from an ethane cracker. So once you're at that step, the downstream processes to your plastics are essentially the same. It's just how you're reaching your, your olefin, your ethylene. And since we've got this process that can be scaled 70% uh, cheaper than our competitors, than traditional methanol, we would be able to then integrate in one facility not only the methanol plant, but the olefin plant, and not have to deliver methanol to an olefin facility. We could actually integrate both processes relatively cheaply uh, into one facility. Regional demand and regional availability and cost of key raw materials are some of the most important factors shaping the development of the petrochemical markets. By opening up new production pathways like gas techno that utilize low-cost alternative feedstocks, 
New technologies can change the game for chemical producers that do not have easy access to traditional feedstocks. Please contact Walter Bredenstein for more information about Gas Techno's Mini GTL solution and their methanol to olefin process.